So the number one step when it comes to managing technical depth is to make sure that you don't take on new debt. And this is the very purpose of CodeScene's pull request integration with quality gates and automated code reviews. So let me show you how that works. First of all, why is it important? Well, if we look at this particular project, we see that there are a bunch of danger notifications. I can click here to inspect them, and I can see that our code health decline. Right now, I have seven hotspots that declining code health. So seven actively developed parts of my code are getting worse over time. That's not good. Let's look at the trends. We see here that one of these hotspots, something called React DOM Server Format Config, a year ago it had a perfect code health of 10. But since then, it rapidly degraded down to 4, and over the past month, down to 3. So this trend is expensive to reverse now. However, this would have never happened if this team would have used CodeScene's pull request integration, because that integration would have caught the decline immediately. So what do I need to do here? Activating the pull request is very simple. All I do is go to my project configuration. I go to the pull request integration section, and I tick this box, and I press update. The moment I do this, CodeScene installs a webhook into your Git repository provider like Bitbucket, GitHub, Azure DevOps, or GitLab. And the moment you open or modify a pull request, we receive that webhook and we run a full code review on all changed code. Let's have a look at the real project. This is what the pull request integration looks like on GitHub, and you see here that I have three pull requests open. And the first two are successful, meaning all quality gates pass. However, the third one has failed a quality gate. And if I click here, then I can dig deeper and inspect the details of why that pull request failed. In the pull request integration, CodeScene has three separate quality gates. The first one refers to code health decline. So if some code, any code, declines in code health, then we will fail the gate. And we will tell you using the same format as you see in the virtual code review why the pull request failed the quality gate. Each one of the items that we report have the same format. So we'll see where in the code you have a specific problem, a specific code issue. We explain why it's a problem. So here, CodeScene works as an extra team member that kind of clarifies what's being measured. And of course, we go on to recommend how to solve it, how to fix it. The second quality gate refers to something called goals. A goal in CodeScene is your way of adding context to a hotspot. So here you can tell CodeScene what you plan to do with this code. Do you want to refactor it? Then you select the refactoring goal. Now CodeScene is going to measure and ensure that that goal progresses as expected. If the code health gets worse or we fail to act upon our goal, then CodeScene is going to fail the quality gate. Finally, when you look at research from technical debt, you will see that most technical debt is taken on in the initial version of a feature, an initial version of a module. So that means that we need to put some extra pairs of eyes on new code. So when you commit a new module on your file, CodeScene is going to run a full automated code review on that module and make sure that it's above your threshold for acceptable code health. 